Hello students, today I will take sixth problem on centroid topic. So we are given one composite area, again it is unsymmetrical composite area and uh, we are asked to find the centroid of this particular area. All dimensions are given in mm. So first step is we should divide uh, this composite area into regular areas. So in this case we have this option. Uh, so what we can do uh, that we can consider one regular area as a triangular area after that this portion is left so in order to include this area what we can do we will consider a square here then we will consider a quarter circle so what we will do we will first add this square into triangular area then we will subtract this quarter circle then we will get this composite area so it means in this case we have to consider three regular areas so first of all i am considering this triangular area as area one this triangular area as area one then i will consider this square let me show that square here with the help of dash line So this is square as area 2 and uh, see this length is mentioned to us as 75 and uh, if this is 75 this will also be 75 because it is a quarter circle. So this R is 75 over here. So we have considered second area as a square area then we will subtract this quarter circle fine we will consider quarter circle as area 3 so we are done with the first step we have labeled three regular areas so we will add square into this triangle then we will subtract this quarter circle to get the required unsymmetrical composite area so after this step the next step is we should locate their individual centroids so let us locate centroid for triangular area first so it is right angle triangle consider this as base first it is a 120 mm and its height is 75 mm it is mentioned in the problem so i forgot to label so let me label this height as well it is mentioned in the problem as 75 mm so if you have to locate the center of this triangular area consider this side as base first so this will become height height is 75 so from base we have to draw one line that will be parallel to its base and distance of that line from this base will be at h by 3 so let me label that distance this side so h over here is how much 75 so that will be h by 3 75 by 3 so from this base we have drawn one line parallel to this base and this line is at a distance of h by 3 h is 75 from this base now consider this side of the triangle as base that is 75 mm and consider its height as 120 mm so from this base draw one line parallel to this base and this line is will be at a distance of h by 3 now h this time is 120 so let me show that distance here so that distance will be h by 3 120 by 3 so let me repeat again for triangular area what we will do consider this side as base first that is 120 so height will be 75 then from this base we will draw one line parallel to this base and distance of that line from this base will be at a distance of h by 3 h is 75 so that is 75 by 3 then we will consider this side of the triangle as base so this side of triangle will become height then from this base we will draw one line 
parallel to this base and distance of that line from this base will be at a distance of h by 3 h this time is 120 so 120 by 3 so this intersection is g1 that is centroid of area 1 now after this we will deal with square now it is a square of 75 of course it is centroid will lie exactly in the center that will be 75 by 2 and 75 by 2 let me label this as g2 now we will talk about third area third area is a quarter circle so let me show this portion here so this is a quarter circle so that is area 3 now we know in case of quarter circle from its one side draw a line at a distance of how much 4 r by 3 pi r over here is 75 its radius then from this side of quarter circle draw another line and that line will be at a distance of 4 r by 3 pi again from that side so intersection of these two will give you g3 fine so over here space was less so i have shown area 3 over here so that this particular thing should be clear to you how we have located its centroid okay so now after this we will start the calculation part so let me show the calculations this side so first calculation will be related to area 1 so area 1 is a triangular area so what we will do we will calculate a1 first its area half into base 120 height 75 and uh, this will be equal to 4500 mm square then we will find x1 what is x1 x1 is the distance of centroid of area 1 that is g1 from y axis means this distance so how you will find this distance we will subtract this distance from 120 so total up to this point is 120 this is 120 from 120 we will subtract this distance then we will get the remaining distance so it will be equal to 120 minus 120 by 3 so over here x1 will be equal to 80 mm then we will calculate y1 so y1 is the distance of centered of area 1 that is g1 from x axis means this distance how much is this distance distance we have already located 75 by 3 so it will be equal to 25 mm. then we will do similar calculations for area 2 so what is area 2 area 2 is a square so let us first find its a2 a2 will be 75 into 75 so this is equal to 5 6 2 5 mm square then we will find x2 how much is x2 x2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 that is g2 from y axis how much is this distance now this distance so how you will calculate this distance very easy from total distance that is 120 plus 75 subtract this distance fine or you can say 120 plus 75 by 2 because if this is the square so if this is the centroid of square so this is 75 by 2 this is 75 by 2 so we want distance of g2 from y axis means this distance so up to this is 120 so 120 plus 75 by 2 so 120 plus 75 by 2 so this is equal to 157.5 mm square 
then we will find y2 what is y2 y2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 that is a square that is g2 from x axis so this distance this is how much this is 75 by 2 it is half of 75 75 by 2 so this will be equal to 37.5 mm sorry this is not a square it is just a distance then after this we will deal with area 3 area 3 is a quarter circle so we have to do similar calculations first is a3 so we have shown area 3 over here let me complete the remaining figure also so this is the triangular area fine now this is y axis this is x axis so i am showing it separately so that it should be clear to you now what is a3 for quarter circle what will be the area pi r square r is 75 by 4 so this will be equal to 4419.64 mm square then we will find x3 what is x3 x3 is the distance of centroid of area 3 that is g3 from y axis means this distance this distance is x3 so how you will find this distance very easy total is how much total is 120 plus 75 so what we will do 120 plus 75 minus this distance this distance we already know that is 4r by 3 pi so remaining distance will be x3 so we will write 120 plus 75 total distance minus this distance that is 4r by 3 pi so what is r r is 75 divided by 3 pi so from here you will get x3 as 163.15 mm then we will find y3 what will be y3 y3 is the distance of cent of centroid of area 3 that is g3 from x axis means this distance so how you will find this distance total is how much total is 75 so 75 minus this distance 4 r by 3 pi so we will get the remaining distance so we'll write 75 minus 4 r is 75 divided by 3 pi so you will get this as 43.15 mm so now fourth step will be calculation of x bar so what will be x bar it will be equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 means in the triangular area we will add square minus we will subtract quarter circle that's why minus that is a3 x3 divided by a1 plus a2 now minus a3 fine i hope this particular formula is clear to you because in order to get this composite area we need to add square into triangular area but we then we have to subtract this quarter circle third area so for third area you have to put negative sign in the denominator and denominator then you will put these values in this particular formula you will get x bar so let me directly write that value it will be equal to 92.04 mm similarly we will calculate y bar what will be the formula for y bar that will be a1 x1 plus a2 x2 sorry it is for y bar so we have to write a1 y1 plus a2 y2 minus third area we have to subtract a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 minus a3 then again you will put these values in this this particular formula you will get y bar as 23.3 mm so i hope uh, this particular problem is clear to you thank you very much